number 165 from a random box of career history and it's Midget Wargast, not to be modelled up with Ad Wargast, different boxer. And this one's a fly, that was more of a lightweight Ad Wargast. Midget Wargast was born Joseph Robert Loscalzo on July the 18th. 1910, same year and month that Jack Johnson fought James J. Jeffries in Reno, Nevada. Uh, put him out of retirement uh, from his alfalfa farm after four years and beating him very overly convincingly. Yeah, and that would have been literally two weeks to the, on the dot before this. And Ad Midget Wargas was born July the 18th, 1910, at Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. And Ad Midget Wargas died on 19th October, 1955, aged 45, at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, it can include newspaper decisions. This record, uh, I have 200 and... 17 matches, 164 wins, and 17 inside the distance, 37 losses, and 5 draws, and won no contest. And I'll go right away from the beginning, mainly his losses. I was like to get the losses mainly. And fifth match. Midget Wargast loses to Matty White. And sixth match, he loses to Dick Welsh. Wins all the way up. And still, it's 38th match. We Willie Davis. I think it's We Willie Davis. There was a show wrestler called We Willie Davis. It's Willie Davis, I'm sure it's the wee Willie Davis. Uh, he loses to Willie Davis, it's in newspaper decisions. And... Yeah, so his record is 35 and three there, and carries on his winning way, he's beating Willie Davis. 45th match, he goes to 41 and four, beating Billy Kelly. Losing to Billy Kelly, shall I say. And yeah, he beat Wee Willie Davis quite a few times after that. And then he loses to Phil Tobias at 59th match. So he's 54 and 5. But he, yeah, he beat Phil Tobias loads of times also. Gets a draw of him in his 64th match. Phil Tobias. And he goes all the way. Yeah, he gets a few well, wins. Pinky Silverberg. Eladio Valdez, I think that's Kid Chocolate, I'm sure it is. Pinky Silverberg, yeah. And then he loses to Newsboy Brown, a man who beat Victor Perez, a man who fought out of the Auschwitz prison camps. And at his 92nd match, he goes 85, 6, and 1 record. So he loses to Newsboy Brown. And he gets a draw with Frankie Denaro in his. 96th match, which is 88, 6 and 2. Quite a good re record. And Midget Wolgast loses his 110th match to Chris Panida. So he's 101, 7 and 2. Quite a record there. Then he beats Speedy Dado along the line a couple of times, more than once. Little Pancho gets a draw, a little Pancho, 126th match. 116, 7 and 3 there. And then his 130th match, he gets another draw with Speedy Dado. So he's 119, 7 and 4. Gets a draw at 132 match. So he's 127 and 5. 133 match, he gets. He, he loses to Young Tommy. He goes to 121 wins, 8 losses and 5 draws. Gets a draw against. Jackie Wilson, I don't think it's 
California Jackie Wilson then, I don't, maybe. Not too sure on that one. I don't think it's the same Jackie Wilson I'm thinking of. But um, yes, we lose it to Jackie Wilson. And add Midget Wolgast. Beats Tony Marino. So that's a young Tommy. Gets that draw in his 135th match against Jackie Wilson. And gets a draw against Ernie Marora. His 140th match was 105, 7, and 7. And gets a lot his 141st match against Britt Gorman. And. Loses to Lou Faber, 155th match. Beats Pete Stanstall, his next match, 146. Loses 148th match to Bobby Leatham. So it's 110, 10 and 7 there. Beats Jackie Brown. And the man who fought in the war there, Jackie Brown. And 150th match, Valentin Engelman. He gets to draw against... And Lou Salika, a man who's only just been put in the Hall of Fame somehow, he gets a win against and he gets a draw against 154th match. And 157th match, he loses to Henry Marino. And 159th match, he loses again to Marino. And 161st match, he loses to Pablo Dano. 163rd match, he gets a draw against Pablo Dano. Draws against Johnny Penner twice, 164 and 165 match. Loses to Rodolfo Casanova, 168th match. Loses to Lou Salica, 170th match. Beats Jean Jurita twice. Then loses to Small Montana in his 173rd match. Beats Rodolfo Casanova, 174th match. 175th match, he beats Frankie Covelli. And loses to Small Montana, 178th match, but beats him. Loses to Henry Armstrong, 182 match. No contest against Richie Fontaine, 184th match. Loses to Jean Zurita, 187th match. Beats Bobby Gray along the way. And a draw with Davy Abad, 192 match. Loses to Jean Zurita again, 193 match. 195 match, he and 196 match, he loses to Perfecto Lopez. 197 match, he loses to Everett Reitmeyer. 198 match, he loses to Davy Abad again. Draws against Norman Quals in his 199th match. Loses to Tommy Cross, 202 match. And 203rd match, draws with Dickie Welsh, loses to Lou Feldman, 204 match, loses to Maxi Berger, 205 match, loses again to Tommy Cross, 207 match, loses to Lou Macy, 209 match, loses to Eddie Dolan, 210 match, and 211 match, he loses to Johnny Craven, and 212 match, he loses to Teddy Baldwin. Twice and 213 match also. And Midget Walgast loses to Mayon Padlo. It's 214th match. 215th match, he loses to Billy Mims. Gets a win and he loses his last match against Billy Morris. So he loses a lot towards the end. And Ad Midget Walgast was... Uh, he defeated Black Bill for the vacant North... State Athletic Commission, NSAC, New York State Athletic Commission, World Flyweight title, the Ring Magazine, um, yeah, I think that was the Ring, no, it wasn't the Ring Magazine one, uh, and Ad Midget Walgast, born Joseph Roberts, Roscalzo, Midget Walgast was born on uh, July the 18th, 1910, at Philadelphia in Pennsylvania 
and uh, Midget Wolgast was born on October the 19th, 1955, aged 45, at Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. And Midget Wolgast, 270 matches with newspaper decisions, 164 wins, 17 inside the distance, 37 losses, 15 draws and won no contest. Bang.